The righteous cry and the Lord hear it and deliver them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us know that they let us know to depart from evil and do good and pursue after what is good. Hallelujah. We're going to go over to uh, 1 Samuel 30 and 1. First Samuel 30 and 1. to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag has a Ziklag and spitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. The Bible tells me that Ziklag was burned down with fire and destroyed. You see this this place was God had had his prepared. But it was burned with, with fire. And it's going on a little further it's by the Amalekites. They had invaded South, they had invaded Ziklag. And they destroyed Ziklag. And had taken, and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So that tells us that the women they had, had burned out Ziklag. And after that, they had took the women captives. And it, and it said they slew not even what it is. Hurt anyone? They didn't. They still live. They had they had black hostage. You know they kept them captive and and they carried them away. So David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burned with fire. And the wives and the sons and the daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. That was today, you know, if somebody take out loved one, we were weak too. You know, and they had wept until they could weep no more. <laughs> but God is a good God. Yes, yes, yes. He's a God that can wipe every tear from your eyes. Yes, yes. But David, two wives were taken captive. And Hanum and Jezalites, Jezalites and Amagel, the wife of Nabal and Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him. Because the soul of all his people grieved, every man for his son and for his daughter, but David encouraged himself in, the, in his Lord, in his God. You see, church, see, we've got somebody with you, then we are turned back on you. My How do you see, David was a man that was going to help the people. Not only that his wife and children got kept, they were too, but David was looking at David. And that, that was his fault. And like that, they don't know that they fought that. He fought that they had women had got captives. Like, so we got to blame, put blame on somebody. No. But not ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. But David, he, had, he encouraged himself. Yeah. Like you see, we got to encourage ourselves. Yeah. You know, when the people that don't want to encourage you, we got to have enough to encourage our own self. Yeah. So people are not going to stand in the city and be with you for a little while. Yes. But they're going to turn their backs on you. Yes. But this one's going to need Jesus. Yes. Then we need God on our side. Yes. And that's when we can make it. But we can't learn how to depend on somebody else to encourage us. Yes. But we got to learn how to encourage our own selves. Yes. And then you look at that David and say, David, you the one that made our wife and children be captive. You the one that got our city destroyed. Yeah. You the one that got thick like burned out. See? You see, they didn't want it to go after the day. But I need to tell you today, church, we got to encourage our own self. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. The devil said to him after the priest, 
advocate, son, I pray to bring me hither the Apple and Apple brought hither the Apple today. The Apple is still telling me that the, it was a kind of garment that the, that the ruler was wearing, the, the head ones wore. No, it was like it's a garment. The Bible tells me that it's something that you put on. But he told him to bring it to him. But David had, he had took the garment, and David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue, pursue after these truths? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, and pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them without fail, because of all. See how David said, he quite lost it. He wanted to know, can I, can I go after these? This, these truths here that, that wanted to destroy me, that took everything from us. Can I go after this? Now up to date, as the devil always taking things from us. Come on, Amen. And these demons, it's the Bible telling me that leave there are many. See, there are many demons out there. Yes. It's still they can pursue enough to you, you get to pursue enough to them. But I'm here to tell you, but when you pursue, you got to pursue in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be holy, but it's called God is holy. Yeah. Yeah. You got to fast and pray. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go pursuing after something that even when you're not right. But you got to get right with God. Yeah. But David knew God. Yeah. And he didn't, he didn't pee no other. But sometimes we have our out of God. Uh -huh. We have this, we, 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 love, we serve this, we serve that. Uh -huh. we, will, we will do things for our own self, but not for the things for God, for God wants us to do. But David inquired the Lord, said, can I pursue? Can I overtake them? Yes. And he asked the Lord, that's no, not only, you're going to, you're going to do that. He said, not only you going to pursue. Uh -huh. He said, for thou shalt sure overtake them without fail to come wrong. Yeah. So we're going to recover all that he had lost. Yeah. Well, we had lost. We're going to recover all. Thank you, Jesus. Do we have to look at our neighbor? Yeah. It's a neighbor. Yeah. Pursue. Pursue. Overtake. Overtake. Without fail. Yeah. Recover all. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Recover all. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We know what we have. We know that we, what we got. But we can't let the devil keep taking from us all the time. We got to look at that devil the devil. No, you're not going to do this way. It's my turn now. Yes. It's my turn. You had done this to me for a very long time. And devil, I'm tired of it. Talk to him now. Yes. Lord, I've been mighty good to yes. Because he said one day, if I come and do a knock yes. and see me, we shall find. Yes. When he said the door should be open to us, we yes. didn't say the door should be open to the devil. Yes. But Bible didn't tell me that. If he told you the saints today, and you're a child of God, if you know you're a child of God, you had a word what the devil said. Yes. Yes. Because the devil, all you want to do is take all the time. All right. He won't give you nothing. He'll give you a lot of headache. He'll give you a lot of pain. He'll give you a lot of suffering. He's going to take your husband. He's going to try to take a job. He's going to try to take everything from you. He's not going to leave you nothing. Amen. Because when he come in, he's going to try to finish. Yeah. You know, he's not going to leave nothing. nothing. He's going to wipe out. Right. But this way, you got to step in. Yeah. Yeah. You got to hold your head up. Yeah. 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 You got to lift up the eyes to the hills and come without help. Yeah. And I believe all the help to come from the Lord. Yeah. What made heaven and earth. But do you believe it? Yes, Lord. If you believe it, all you gotta do is receive it. If we don't receive it, we can't believe it. I'm here to tell you, church, we serve a mighty good God. We gotta be like Joe, for God I live, and for God I die. That should be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel about the good about it. I feel about the good about it. Because God has never 
failed me yet. He never failed church. He never failed. He do everything but fail. He had not failed me, church. I know he had not failed you today. Because we sitting here today with a blessing. It's a blessing because he woke us up this morning. And I can't talk about material things. I'm talking about how he heal your body. And he clothed you in your right mind. He said one day that by his strength that we are healed. He didn't say it just be said. He said because he died on Calvary Cross for the midst of our sin that we may have life and may have it more abundantly. Because he come for 42 generations that condemn the world but to save the world for you, you, and you. I said for you, you, and you. I'm going to say it again for the Holy Ghost for you, you, and you. May have
your wife. You see, because I ain't have part of that. You said that you would help me. You turned away. You say you're my best friend. No, you're my enemy now. Now ain't that way. How do you get to love them, feed them, nourish them, and show that love? Because two wrongs won't make no right. Hallelujah. You can't do it to deal what they did to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of us want to stick needles to somebody, but they still needles in you. So when it's your fear, you're going to kick that dog. In the name of God. Hallelujah. It used to be that way. Moses is an eye for an eye, a two for a two. But God said, no, uh uh. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to feel it. Because Mickey Hummer is the way. He said, I'm not going to change that, but Mickey Hummer is the way. But the rest of them today goes around way back then. Go around and hurt somebody else because they hurt them. Go around and take that husband because they took that wife. You know, that ain't going to work. Uh, that ain't going to work because we said we're going to pursue. We don't know what team going to cover off. But we can't cover all you going around kicking somebody else. Overtake, recover all. He said we have made an invasion upon the south. And upon the coast we belong to Jude upon the south. Of Caleb, your burning with Ziklab is fire. And, and David says here, can thou bring me down this company? And he said, swear to me, my God, that thou would not neither kill me, nor deliver me into the hands of the master. And I would bring thee into the, this company. He was begging David. David, don't hurt me. If you don't hurt me, I will tell you. I will show you where they at. I will tell you. I will tell you. But please don't hurt me. But David, but David was not going to hurt him. He had passed you, brother. David said, no, no, I'm not going to do that. All I want to do is help me. Help me find these people. Hallelujah. Let me let me find this enemy. Because I got 400 men with me. I'm not going to stand by myself. I'm going after what you I'm going after my wife. I'm going after my children. That's I'm going after it. Hallelujah. I want to take it all back. Just watch me. Just watch me. That's I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk before my enemy. Just watch me. I want to take it all back. All you have to do is stand right there. And then look and see. What I'm gonna do, hallelujah, what the Bible tells me, and David went, he fought, he did from night to the morning until the next day, oh yes he did, David fought all night long, oh yes he did, oh he's gonna tell you, I believe, I know that he stood right there, he stood right there, and watched David take it all back, oh he's gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, it's that devil, I'm gonna take it all back. Oh yes I am. It's my turn now. I'm gonna pursue. I'm gonna overtake. I'm gonna recover all. Yes I am. Thank you Lord. See David, he went after. Hallelujah. Why you got tooth from? Hallelujah. What that devil embarrass you? We ain't embarrass that devil. It's the devil. No you ain't. Not this time. Last year, you did a year before that. Oh, yes, you did. But not this year. Not this year. No, no, you ain't. No, you ain't done. No, you ain't. Glory to your name. I'm here to tell you, Jesus. I'm here to tell you, Jesus. He said, He's the author and the fear of your faith. Oh, yes, He is. Hey, Lord. He's the author and the fear of your faith. Hey, Lord. He's the author and the fear of your faith. Hey, Lord. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. He's Alpha. He's Omega. He's beginning. And he's the end. He's going to be the first. And he's going to be the last. Oh, yes, he is. See, David. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, was first. Hallelujah. Watch that he's going to be last. He's going to take what he has. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to take it all back. Just watch the church. He's going to take it all back. And David covered all that the Amorite had covered to carry.
carried away. And David rescued the two wives. And there was nothing left it to him. Neither small nor great. Neither son nor daughter. Nor spoil nor in. Well, not either, not anything to take it to them. David become wrong. And David took all the flocks and the herds with they, with they had drove before those other cattle and said, this is David's fault. Hallelujah. This is mine. David, this is mine. This is my wife. This is your wife. This is my children. This is your children, devil. It's mine. This is my home. This is my clothes.
Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We want to present to you Jesus. the usher board, Hallelujah. the juniors, and the big usher board of Friendship Colonist Church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Strengthen us. 
make us the vessel that you would have us to be. We ask you to bless this pastor, this congregation. Bless each one that's present this evening. I ask you to bless the man of the hour that's going to break the bread of life. Fill him up afresh with your spirit and anoint him afresh that he would stand with boldness and with power proclaiming your word. We ask you to meet every need that's represented here in this building. We don't have to call them out name by name and one by one because you said in your word that you know our thoughts. Even afar off. So even before we ask you, you already know what we need. Have your way this evening. Touch every heart. We ask you to deliver, set free, heal, and just move in any way that you see fit. For all that you do in this service, we'll praise you. We'll give you the honor and all the glory. We'll be careful to say that Jesus did it all. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. <coughs> uh, we need this welcome address. We have the response, please. Amen. From, from the visiting church. I want to thank you, Lord, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we will be here on this occasion. And we know that in time, we among God's people, we're welcome. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Give her a hand. Wish you all not paying attention on We have the history of an Adrian Little. In 1982, the Usher Board of Friendship Public Church was formed with only three to four members. As God has blessed the church with more members, the membership of the Usher Board increased. God has continued to bless the work of the Usher Board, for they are doing a great work for the Lord. In 1992, the Junior Usher Board was formed. These young ushers are also doing a great work for the Lord on second and fourth Sunday of each month. Today we wish the Usher Board a happy 12th anniversary. May God continue to bless them and continue to strengthen them to do the work of the Lord and encourage each and every one to keep walking by faith. Right here I'm going to introduce the Usher Board. And I also want to tell you that I put in the paper 14th, but it is, I understand it's the 12th, and that was my fault. And I will just ask you to forgive me for that, even the Usher Boys. Uh, President Roland McClain, Vice President Sister Linda Joseph, Secretary Sister Gloria Miller, Gloria McClain, uh, Treasurer uh, Colleen. She's not here, Ms. Uh, Colleen uh, is, the press, is the treasurer. Uh, the members are Rosa Jackson, Sister Rosa Jackson, Sister Ruthie Brown, Sister Colleen Patterson, Sister Joanne Stone, Brother Cliff Ballard, Captain, Sister Rena Howes, Sister Wanda Miller, Sister Melinda Miller, Sister Shell Howes, Sister Shirley Chang, I mean, Sally Brown, and I'll get you off of this one. Rosa Martha Rouse, Nabon Watkins, and I think she's the program committee also. Uh, so Cynthia Page and Dorothy Campbell. That's the adult uh, ushers. Junior ushers, give them a hand, please. Uh, for the junior ushers, Vice President Linda Joseph, Assistant Vice President is Davon Watkins, Secretary Marvonia Wilkes, Treasurer Devon Joseph. Uh, uh, junior usher members, Adrian Little, Marvonia Wilkes, Alicia Marshall, which is new, Tracy Little is new, Jonathan Robertson is new, Erica Miller is new, Lakeisha Eason, new, and Patricia Little, new. Let's give them all a hand, please. And I have to say right here, don't they all look nice today? They all look beautiful today. And we just thank God for you. We thank God for just for you all having this program and allowing me 
You get up and make a mess, but I'm all right, though, I tell you. Because, see, I love the Lord. And I just thank y'all, and y'all just give them another hand as they march back to their seats. Yeah. <laughs> 